What is happening, people? We welcome you to the Ghana Alpha. It is time for evolution. So, today's video, I'm doing a tutorial on the torso, the front torso, the front torso area, or the chest area, mainly mainly torso, chest, and, and uh, part of the arms, you know, uh, just the top arms, you know, where the deltoid and the biceps is, you know, and then I'll do like even more detailed tutorials on like uh, the forearm, you know. So this video is going to be split into uh, two, uh, no, three, three different parts, and just for more content on the channel, and at the same time, you know, to, just to reduce the length on on the uh, on the tutor on the uh, tutorial videos. All right. So soon I'm going to like slow down the video, and then I'm going to like narrate, you know, certain uh, key points that I want you guys to like look into. So. You know, right now I'm just drawing the chest and I'm drawing the arms. Uh, the, the arms or the biceps are like kind of simple circle or simple like oval, oval shapes. You know, and for the chest, the foundation uh, is is like a is kind of like a, a perfect circle in a sense. You know, a, a perfect circle and then the the chest muscles, or at least this is how I do it. Perfect circle and then like the the chest that you see. Uh, is like centered towards the, the middle section you know all right so so yeah so I'm going to like highlight the the blue I'm gonna highlight that the circle in blue so that I, I can show you guys uh, the foundation where, where it all pretty much uh, started you know and so for the males uh, for males they're more wide they have a more wide, uh, you know, chest definition, and for females, they have a more uh, narrow uh, kind of chest definition. All right, so you know, just fixing up a um, a few things just so I could like show you guys clearly. And so the the that deltoid muscle that I erased there, um, this is what you want to like also pay attention to because these these things are going to like stick out to like to a, a male that is you know standing standing straight you know uh, look look at look at this uh, pose as if the male is, uh, is standing as if he's doing like, like a soldier pose like he's saluting it, it's not it's not like too natural because that, that the arms are like are are like uh, more inward as opposed to like relaxed but but yeah, it's like a, it's kind of like a soldier pose. They're, they're like straight up or so. And so for the abs, these are going to be like the first four abs that are mainly visible within the the circle that I've shown and imagine these as being drawn as if they're like a, a bird shape you know I know you guys like remember like uh, those uh, those easy to make birds that you made like in kindergarten or so it's like a I'll show you guys like a, a picture there but it's like a like a bird shape now imagine that but it's upside down you know and I, and now imagine the bird shape for the chest you know so what I drew in the in the corner there is pretty much like the uh, the human body bending. So naturally, uh, the body is bending how how you see right here in the corner from a side view, you know. And as the body body is bending, the the rib the rib cage is like kind of opening up a little bit in the bottom there, you know. And also right there, I'm also highlighting like or just drawing the outline of the center of where I'm drawing the chest, you know, and so, yeah, I'm just like, uh, just completing it or finishing it up a little bit, I won't like, you know, this won't be a full drawing, I'm, this is just mainly focusing on the chest and like the arm motion, so it will, it will be split into like three, into three parts, and also what I'm highlighting here in the red is the portion that is mainly visible to males, you know, the red that I'm highlighting for males is like the tricep and like the posterior section of the deltoid and I'm also showing like how the, the front the front deltoid or the, the anterior section of the deltoid 
it's, sim it's a, a bit aligned with the trapezius in the back. And with its alignment is divided in between with the uh, with the clavicle. All right, so now we're doing females. So this time the it's more of like an oval kind of shape, a uh, narrow oval in a sense compared to like the perfect circle that we made for like the male. So right now you can kind of see that I'm making the chest how I would make it for a male so I'm doing this just to show you where the breast would lay the breast would lay on top of where that uh, where the the, the, the the rib cage is kind of kind of popping out when it bends you know so right now I'm drawing the breast and you can imagine the breast being like a, a heart shape a heart shape with a gap in the middle to uh, to perfectly have it like a line so Right here, I'm just showing you guys like the heart shape with with the gap, you know. And also, you wanna like uh, like when you know when you're done. I'm I'm not actually I'm just drawing like that chest area just to show you guys, or just to have it, you guys like kind of visualize it. But you don't have to draw it if you have it, uh, you know. If you understand where the that the breasts are laying at, like where the and the breasts are laying near where the chest is kind of popping out there, you know, and then you would draw the arms, you know, and everything on the female is more smooth, less muscle definition, uh, and it's just a lot, uh, it's a lot, you know, narrower or just just smaller, smaller in general. So yeah, on on the orange, what I'm highlighting on the orange is like the rib cage, where the rib cage is kind of popping out. That's where I'm also gonna highlight the rib cage kind of popping out where the breast is at. So that's why I showed you guys like the chest in the beginning, you know, just to show you guys like the distance of where where uh, where things are going, you know. And so, also another thing to keep in mind is that uh, where the the portion where I highlighted on red, uh, where where I did red for female, I mean where I did red for the male, you can see like for the female is not visible. So for example, the red, the, the the deltoid area and the tricep area that I did for the male is not, you know, visible because it's not, uh, she's not as beefy or or muscular, you know. So, so like what what will, what will happen is that just just the bicep will show it'll just it'll, you'll just see a lot less less muscle compared to the male. And again, this is still a kind of still a kind of like straight up kind of pose, you know. So as I as as I, as we kind of zoom in or zoom out, we can we can see that. So it's kind of it's, it's just a straight up pose. Uh, And so right now I'm just, you know, further highlighting where the neck is coming out of. And I'm also doing the, uh, the, the oval portion of it. I'm showing you guys like the oval, you know, compare, compare, comparing that oval or that egg shape to the male's uh, perfect uh, circle shape. Uh, females are more, uh, you know, slim, like more narrow, you know. And also notice how like the breasts they're also popping out of the of the oval shape compared to the male 
where with the chest is more inward inside the circle the, the the female is more the female breasts are kind of popping out of that that oval shape you know and i'm and, and in red i'm also highlighting again the heart shape with the gap in the middle it's like an upside down heart shape but with a gap in the middle so imagine that And so that will be the video. Thank you guys for watching. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and tell me what you think about the video. And peace. Stay tuned for part two next week. Peace.